All right, good morning. Today is uh, day 153. We just left our stealth site. Uh, it was about 1.3 miles south of Hall Mountain Shelter. We left about 7.05 this morning. Uh, had a little bit more rain last night. I think as we close out last night's video, uh, it didn't rain very long, but uh, the rest of the night was pretty quiet. I think we both slept pretty well. Uh, us and Hollywood were both in awkward sites, and so it's tough kind of squeezing into those stealth sites. You just never know what you're going to get, but we didn't want to take chances to go all the way down to Hall Mountain Shelter and there not be space available there. That would have forced us to come down Hall Mountain, which is a steep descent, and we didn't want to do that late in the evening. Uh, we're looking at about 18 miles today. We're going to try to get to a stealth site north of the Bemis River or Bemis Stream. It is a pretty well known water crossing that's been difficult to pass in high water conditions. We didn't get heavy rain yesterday, so we're hoping that that water crossing is going to be passable. First main water fording. It definitely won't be the last. We decided to go with Crocs and try to keep our well the shoes and socks are already wet, but they were starting to dry out as we hiked today, so Okay, it's about 1010 and we are making our way up Moody Mountain. It's a pretty tough climb. It's uh about thirteen hundred feet in elevation gain over 1.3 miles. Second water fording of the day. Putting the Crocs on to keep the shoes dry. All right, we're now making our way up a little big blue mountain. It's uh, 2.8 miles to the summit and about 2,200 feet in elevation gain. So far we got rock stuff going up. But it's another big climb today. Whew. Okay, one of our first days today, we're about uh, one third up of uh, Old Blue Mountain. All right, we're making our way down from Old Blue Mountain. Uh, while at the summit, uh, we had lunch. We used the opportunity to dry out the rain fly, just kind of hung it over the small trees up there and let it flap in the wind. We're just over nine miles. We just we have just over nine miles to go to camp. Uh, it's about 2.15. And we're trying to make it to the Bemis Stream, to the north side of the Bemis Stream. We'll cross that tonight, so we don't have to worry about it tomorrow. This is the trail. We have been doing this for quite a while now. All right, we are now descending from Bemis Mountain Second Peak. <coughs> we have just under two miles ago to get to camp. It's around six o'clock. Oh, oh, hey guys. End of day 153. Right? 
I think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're at a stealth site. We did 18 miles today. We're, we're at a stealth site just north of Bemis Stream. We purposely wanted to cross Bemis Stream. We've It's been known in the past to be impassable and there's going to be a storm coming in and maybe potentially overnight or tomorrow morning. So we want to make sure we pass it tonight and be good to go for tomorrow. Yeah, so we did. We we had to change into Crocs, but it was our third water forward of the yeah. day. We didn't get into camp until like, what, 7.30? Mm -hmm. um, which starting to get dark earlier, yeah. so we didn't have very much. We had to use our headlamps too. Yeah, it was it was only settled. an 18-mile eight, day. When we looked at the terrain, we felt the terrain was very manageable. But what you don't know is what the terrain has to offer. And today it offered so much mud, so many you know different puddles. Try to keep your feet dry, but that slows you down. So that gets you out of your hiking rhythm. You have to stop, navigate around it. And you do that so much throughout the day. It just kind of takes away from... You know what you can hike per day and you have to adjust for mileage that way yeah but i mean we did 18 miles so yeah i think the sweet spot now for sunrise sunset is probably around 15 to 16 really yeah but tomorrow we have a shorter day we're doing 14 into a hostel that's right off trail so the train looks pretty good so yeah. hopefully we don't have much mud but it is supposed to rain um but we'll see. I just would love a period of decent weather. I haven't been able to go. It rained today, yeah, by the way. Today. Yep. So. Not hard, though. Right. Another day of rain, though. All right, guys. We're, well, we're going to bed. <laughs> Good, night. Good night. We'll see you on trail.